Um, we good? Cool. Okay. Uh, first of all, I spoke to Ben about this. Having a dog in a movie at this time of year, especially when it's award season, is usually a shoe in uh, yeah. for some sort of win. Was that something you were all plotting together? <laughs> uh, well, no, the dog's there for the plot, really. I mean, uh, in fact, to be honest, I'm a bit jealous of him because he's better actor than me, so he's basically stolen my thunder, which is really annoying, and has already won an award. But yeah, no, it's fantastic, you know, people like a small dog, don't they? Yeah. Uh, now, coming out just before Christmas, of course, some brilliant uh, sort of anti-programming there. What yeah. is your favourite non-traditional festive movie? Non-traditional festive movie? Uh, what, you mean like uh, Bad Santa or something? I like Bad Santa. Non-traditional festive movie with Christmas in it. God, uh, well, Trading Places, I would say, very funny. Uh, Eddie Murphy, yeah, with pretending to have no legs, all good. <laughs> that's, that's, nothing that's, says Christmas like that. Nothing really. says Christmas like um, that. You guys, you're getting recognised everywhere now because I've seen you posing next to your picture on the tube. Yeah, you've seen me do that, have you? Yeah, I've been doing that quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, quite, uh, yeah, yeah, people sort of look at me and go, I think I know that bloke. I might have been to school with him or something. So uh, yeah, it's quite it's quite interesting. Is that quite weird? Yeah, a bit, a wee bit. Yeah, so it's, uh, but um, very nice. Could you see a sequel at all to, to the movie? Well, a sequel to the movie would be a lovely thing to do, but it might be uh, a wee bit difficult because of the ending. But I won't give anything away. I thought we could maybe send Tina to uh, you know one of these uh, company outward bound team building courses and work her way through. <laughs> The annoying office staff. Would that work? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, Tina. Tina let loose without Chris would be a pretty uh, fearsome thing. And uh, yeah, you, you just you, oh, shouldn't. It shouldn't happen. It can't happen. So what did make the final cut? There must have been loads of stuff that ended up on the cutting room floor. Well, there were. Yeah, there was on uh, the cutting room floor. There were some brilliant scenes, some of the best scenes we shot, some of the funniest scenes, and uh, there, was, there was one in particular which was just uh, hilarious, but we had to cut it because it didn't quite fit in with the with the whole plot. So sadly, it had to go. But great performance by Mark Kempner. Sadly gone. Is it going to uh, make the DVD? Do you think? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think the, the DVD will have things on it that are very special. But I'm not sure about that scene, yeah. We'll, we'll see. have been seeing online a lot of fans of the movie already at sort of screenings around the UK, yeah. starting to think of doing pilgrimages, you know, yeah. the characters in a caravan, no. hopefully without the murdering. Yeah. Ultimate tribute or a little bit creepy? I think it's a brilliant tribute, what a dream, and uh, uh, people should celebrate these uh, places we went to because they're absolutely brilliant and we totally loved them. Now, Tina can't travel without potpourri. Yeah. Why can't you travel without? Uh, an axe and some gaffer tape. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I think my character's a bit more brutal than Tina. He's a bit, he's a bit, yeah, a bit more, a bit more, yeah, into tools and kind of things like that. She's a bit more chaotic. She likes chaos, but also potpourri. Yeah. Thanks very much. Good to see you again.